We are sometimes asked, in the name of patriotism, to forget the merits of that fearful struggle and to remember with equal admiration those who struck at the nation's life and those who struck to save it, those who fought for slavery and those who fought for liberty and justice. I am no minister of malice. I will not strike the fallen. I will not repel the repentant. But if my right hand forgot her cunning and my tongue cleaved to the roof of my mouth, let me never forget the difference in the parties of that terrible, protracted, bloody conflict. We're asked to forget a war which has filled our land with widows and orphans, which has made stumps of men, which has sent them on a journey in life, armless, legless, maimed and mutilated, which has piled up a debt heavier than a mountain of gold, swept countless thousands of men into bloody graves, and planted agony at a million hearthstones. I say if the war is to be forgotten, in the name of all things sacred, what shall men remember? We have come here not to praise manly courage, save what it displayed in that noble cause. But let us never forget that victory to the rebellion meant death to the Republic. Let us never forget that the loyal soldiers who rest beneath this sod flung themselves between the nation and the nation's destroyers. <laughs>